Hello everyone, welcome to tonight's contest, first district game for the Mavericks. Playing their first game on the road here at Westwood High School. Lineups are being announced. We're getting ready to get underway here at Westwood High School Field. As is expected, Mother Nature deals us a cold front for the first game. It's a probably low 50s, maybe high 40s. At least the wind isn't too bad and uh, no rain, even though the forecast called for it. We're going to have the start. We're going to have the uh, national anthem here, and then we'll be right back. All right, Warriors have taken the field. Getting ready to get underway. Westwood Warriors were uh, 21 and nine overall last year, nine and five in district. <clears throat> they were an area finalist. They're bringing back eight returning starters and six returning lettermen. Six and one in pre-district play so far. Leading up to this, the first district game of the season. Starting pitcher for the Warriors tonight, the sophomore, number 13, Ridge Morgan. And he will face the top of the order for the Mavericks. Leading off will be the left fielder, Ramsey Simpson. He'll be followed by the second baseman, Jack Goins. And shortstop, number nine, Ryan Vosick. Mavs hoping to get things rolling here. First game in district play. This will then be followed by uh, another and our final preseason tournament, which will be one sponsored by Leander ISD. Mavs will be playing various non-district teams on uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday this week. Then they will go and do full district play, two games a week generally, playing out through the other seven teams in our district. 
And Morgan has taken his warm-ups, and we are underway. Leading off left fielder, number 12, Ramsey Simpson. First pitch to Simpson is a fastball over the middle of the plate called strike one. Simpson, the left-handed hitter, good speed. Next pitch, a breaking ball that comes in, and Simpson says it hit him in the foot, but the umpire disagrees. So Simpson's going to head back. Short field here at Westwood. High fences, especially out in center field, double height. But uh, down the lines is only 310. Comes a 1-1 pitch to Simpson. Fastball misses outside. Two-one pitch, fastball swung on, grounded, just foul down the third base side. So Simpson will head back for a two-two count. It's a 2-2 pitch to Simpson. Fastball misses down to the dirt, so it'll be full count. Three-two pitch. Fastball misses outside and low, so Simpson is aboard with a leadoff walk here in the top of the first. Brings up the number two hitter, Jack Goins. Go, Goins also with some speed. And he scores around to bunt, lays it down. It's a good one down the third base line. And it gets through the glove of the third baseman, so it's going to be safe all around on a well executed bunt by Jack Goins. We'll see if they score that one a hit or an error. But uh, either way, it's runners on first and second to start off the inning. Brings up the number three hitter, Ryan Vosick. First pitch to Vosick. He squares around a bunt, but the pitch misses outside and low. This will be 1-0. First baseman playing in the grass. Pitch is swung on, aligned in the gap between shortstop and third base and into left field for a base hit. So the Mavs load them up. First three batters here in the first. That'll bring up the number four hitter, Jackson Collins. Uh, the bunt by Goins, where he reached safely there, was scored an error on the third baseman. All right, so before Collins sees his first pitch, the uh, Westwood head coach calls time, and he's going to head out to the mound, talk to his pitcher in infield.
Collins does have power, already home run in some of the preseason play so far. And again, on this high fenced but very short field, only 310 down the lines. Collins definitely a strong pull hitter. He squares one up and uh, it's going to go. All right. <clears throat> So Colin steps in, ready to receive the first pitch here with bases loaded. And he looks at the first pitch breaking ball, gets past the catcher, and that's going to allow Simpson to score easily from third base on the pass ball. So Mav strike first. And everybody else moves up one base. So runners on second and third now. And 1-0 count to Collins, the hitter. One zero pitch, swung on and missed, strike one. Just the faintest trace of wind, not a whole lot going on with the flag out in center field. One one pitch to Collins, fastball catches the outside corner for called strike two. One two pitch swung on ground ball fielded by the shortstop bobbles it a little bit though throws over to first in time but it's going to be an RBI as Goins comes in from third and that will make the score Mavericks two Westwood zero and Vasek advances from second to third on the play. And with one out that brings up the left hand hitting Chris Windesman. Set a first pitch breaking ball. Misses just a little bit low for ball one. Ooh, 1 0 fastball. Catches the outside corner. Called strike one. One ball, one strike to Windsman. Ryan Vosick, the runner on third. Next pitch swung on, a little soft ground ball, fielded by Morgan coming off the mound. He flips it over to first for the second out of the inning, but another RBI. So the Mavs playing some good station-to-station -station baseball here. RBIs. And three runs across so far with two outs. And that brings up the starting catcher tonight, Garrett Banks. And looks at a first pitch breaking ball in there for a called strike one. One pitch, fastball, catches the outside corner. Called strike two. Oh, and two, the count to Banks. Next pitch, swung on a miss, strike three, but the ball gets away from the catcher. Throw down is going to be in time, and that will end the inning. But the Mavs strike first, put three runs up here in the top of the first. We head to the bottom. Warriors coming up to bat. Score McNeil three, Westwood zero. We'll be right back.
All right, starting defense here for the Mavs. <clears throat> First base, Jackson Collins. Second base, Jack Goins. Ryan Vosick at short. Wyatt Newman at third base. Left fielder, Ramsey Simpson. Center field, Chris Windesman. And in right field, James Morio. Your battery tonight, catching behind the plate, the senior Garrett Banks. And starting pitcher, left-handed junior, Brandon Morio. And he'll face top of the order here for the Warriors, leading off the center fielder Moore. He'll be followed by first baseman Hebert, and then shortstop Matthew Gula. And first pitch to Moore is in there. Breaking ball for called strike one. Next pitch, fastball, ground, bounding, ball, ground, bounding ground ball to first base Collins. He's going to take it himself. And that's the first out of the inning. So two quick pitches, one quick out. We're going to be left-handed hitting Jeff Hebert. Third baseman Newman comes up on the grass, anticipating potential bunt here. And the first pitch to Hebert. Breaking ball swung on, fouled back into the high and kind of overhanging uh, foul net here that going to prevent a lot of balls from going back behind the press box. Also probably because there's a lot of uh, residences within striking distance right behind the field here, so probably trying to protect, protect a lot of windows. Next pitch, fastball in there for called strike two. So Maury working ahead 0-2 here on the number two hitter Hebert with one out. Comes the 0-2 pitch. It's like a breaking ball foul back into the screen. Count remains 0-2 to Hebert. Shortstop Matthew Gula, number three hitter on deck. Another 0-2 pitch. Fastball catches the outside corner, strike three. First strikeout for Moria tonight. like we have uh, some sort of situation here with the Westwood Westwood head coach. <laughs> Not sure if he's trying to educate, <laughs> attempting to educate the umpire on the strike zone here. That usually doesn't go very well for coaches. So that a conversation about the strike zone appears to be over. Oh, yeah. Looks like the third base coach for Westwood may have just been given a warning, not ejected from the game. And so we're back to the number three hitter with two outs, shortstop Matthew Gula. First pitch to Gula, breaking ball, grounded to third, fielded by Newman, throws it, throw is way offline though and over the top of the head of the first baseman Collins and it looks like there's going to be a... Gula just kind of sauntered his way into second base there, so it must have been obstruction or the ball went out of play into the dugout, so error on the throw by Newman there. And Gula is aboard at second base on the overthrow with two outs. That brings up the starting pitcher for the Warriors, Ridge Morgan. First pitch to Morgan, breaking ball, misses high and outside, ball one. Time 
temperature about 47 degrees here, not a lot of wind, but definitely dropping in temperature. 0-1 pitch, or 1-0 pitch, fastball misses high. Count will be 2-0. Fastball comes inside there, misses maybe just a little bit low, so it'll be 3-0 to Morgan. Catcher Brinson stands on deck should Morgan reach safely. Oh, 3-0 pitch, seems to miss a little bit low, so two-out walk for Morgan. Now runners on first and second. That brings up the catcher, Brinson. And the first pitch to Brinson is a breaking ball in there called strike one. A one pitch, another breaking ball, and that ball is hit high and deep. Question is, is it fair? It is fair, and it is a three-run home run over the left field fence for Brinson. So with one swing, Brinson ties the game here in the bottom of the first inning at three apiece. And that has brought some life to the Warriors dugout. And Morio will go back to work here on the number six hitter, designated hitter, Jackson Gula. Brother Matthew plays shortstop for the Warriors. For the first pitch breaking ball misses outside ball one one oh pitch good slider swung out on miss strike one 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 pitch oh other breaking ball Some late Late break on it there. Looks like it just missed somewhere. Two balls and one strike to count. Next pitch swung on, fouled sharply back into the feet in the screen. Comes a 2-2 pitch to Gula. Swung on, just got a piece of it and fouls it gently back to the screen. Another 2 2 pitch. Swung on, grounded to the third baseman, Newman. Knocks it down, throws it over to first base. Throw is low, though, and. Uh, First baseman Collins can't come up with it, so it'll be a the inning extended by another throwing error. That'll bring up the number seven hitter, right fielder Gus Wendland. First pitch to Wendland, fouled down the third base side. A 
A one pitch breaking ball bounces in the dirt. One on one count to Wendland. We're on first Gula getting a progressively larger lead as the pitches go on here. We'll see if Warren throws over. Nope, does not. Next pitch swung on, fouled. Back to the screen. So one ball, two strikes, the count. Next pitch swung on, another ground ball to third base, fielded by Newman, throws it over to first in time, this time for the third out of the inning. So Warriors strike back, tie the score up at three apiece. We head to the top of the second inning. Mavs coming up to bat. We'll be right back. All right, seven, eight, nine hitters due up for the Mavericks here in the top of the second inning. Leading off will be the designated hitter, Caleb Crail. He'll be followed by the Morio brothers, right fielder James Morio, and uh, and the pitcher Brandon Morio. First pitch to Crail, fastball misses outside, ball one. Crail with some good power, also has a good tendency to go opposite way, as he does in this case, and that is a deep fly ball into right field. Right fielder is kind of tracking it. Looks like he slipped a little bit there, but uh, manages to make the catch for the first out of the inning. It's a well-hit ball. Looked like it had a chance there, but uh, just didn't quite have the distance. So one away here in the in the top of the second brings up the left-handed hitting James Morio. First pitch to Morio, fastball misses outside for a ball. Next pitch, a little backdoor slider comes in, called strike one. Next pitch, swung on, ground ball right to the second baseman, fielded, thrown over to first in time to retire Morio. For the second out of the inning. And then I'll bring up the pitcher for the Mavericks, Brandon Morio. Oh 
First pitch to Morio swung on, lofted into shallow right field. Second baseman's underneath it, uh, but right fielder comes in and makes the grab. So the Mavs are retired, one, two, three, in the top of the second, no runs, no hits. We head to the bottom of the second, all tied up. Warriors three, Mavs three, we'll be right back. All right, eight, nine, then back to the top for the Warriors here in the bottom of the second inning, leading off as the third baseman, Wood. First pitch to Wood. Fly ball, foul out of play. Goes off the top of the, uh, the Warriors tunnel cages over on the right side. We strike one. Next pitch, fastball, tries to check his swing. Oh, umpire appeals down to first base umpire and says he managed to hold back, so. It'll be a ball. Certainly looked like he went around. So one ball, one strike. It's a leadoff hitter, Wood. Next pitch, fastball, this is just a little bit low. So two and one the count now. Two one breaking ball, lofted foul again, out of play on the right field side. Comes to 2-2 pitch. Breaking ball misses a little bit high and outside, so it'll be full count. Three two pitch, swung on, fouled back into the net. Comes another 3 2 pitch to Wood. Swung on, lofted, shallow right field. Second baseman's going over, and that's going to get down right in front of the right fielder, Morio, for a no leadoff base hit. Just kind of stuck his bat out and hoped, and it was just enough to find green grass out there in the outfield for a leadoff single. Brings up the number nine hitter, left fielder, Dunn. First pitch looks like a change up there, then misses inside in the dirt. And Morio motions over to first base to keep the runner close to the bag.
Peter Dunn squares around to bunt, but the pitch misses low. So it'll be 2-0. Oh. And that bunt motion will bring the third baseman, Newman, up on the grass. That third. Squares around to bunt again. Pulls back as the pitch is a fastball that misses high. Be three balls and no strikes now. And the next pitch misses high. Ball four. So a leadoff single followed by a walk. We've got runners on first and second now. Brings us back to the top of the Warriors order. Leadoff hitter. Center fielder Moore grounded out the first base and is first at bat. And that's going to trigger a visit from the head coach of the Mavericks. So Coach Aguirre heads back to the dugout. And Moore gets ready to face the leadoff hitter Moore. He squares around a bunt, but first pitch misses outside and high ball one. One out of the count, squares around a bunt, lays it down right in between pitcher's mound and first base. First baseman Collins fields it, but the throw is offline for the second baseman Goins, who gets knocked over by the runner at first. That was a pretty hard collision. Uh, looks like everybody's okay. The, uh, the runner Moore seems to be more impacted by the collision than uh, second baseman Goins for the Mavericks. But Warriors head coach is going to come out and check him just to be sure. On the play, runner on second base, Wood, came around and scored. So the score will be 4-3 to three now in favor of the Warriors. Dunn made it all the way from first to third. So we've got runners on first and third now. Everybody's okay as the Warriors head coach heads back to the dugout. Runners on first and third, nobody out. Looks like we've got a pinch hitter here. Um, number 16, Colton Clemens, comes in to hit in place of the first baseman, Hebert. And he swings at the first pitch, lofts a fly ball into right field. It's going to be foul territory and not playable. So an interesting... Uh, early game substitution here as Clements goes in to pinch hit in the number two spot in place of the first baseman Jeff Hebert oh and won the count Next pitch is swung on. This is going to be a deep fly ball into left field, and it's going to be foul. So a long strike. And a count is 0-2 to Clements. Runner goes from first, pitch is swung on a miss, strike three. Throwdown is not going to be in time, but the runner from third does not advance. Now, 
So Clemens strikes out for the first out of the inning. Second strikeout for Morio tonight so far. And I'll bring up the shortstop Matthew Gula, who reached safely in the first inning on an error on the third baseman. Runners on second and third now, first pitch. Breaking ball misses high, infield in. Trying to prevent the run from third from scoring. One-0 pitch to Gula, fastball misses outside, ball two. Comes a 2-0 pitch, fastball swung on a miss, strike one. Mario came kind of high and inside with the fastball there. One fastball dials that one up on the outside corner there. Swung on a miss. Strike two. So the count will be two and two to Gula. Next pitch, another fastball misses outside and high. So it'll be full count now. Done, the runner on third, Moore on second, and the 3-2 pitch. Swung on a miss, strike three. Big strikeout there for Morio, back to back this inning. So two away, runner still on second and third, and that brings up the pitcher, Ridge Morgan, who walked in his first at bat. First pitch to Morgan, good breaking ball, late, a late backdoor slider there on the outside corner, called strike one. Next pitch, fastball, lofted into shallow left field. Left fielder Simpson's over and he will make the grab and that will end the inning. So some early traffic on the bases, one run comes across but that limits the damage. So one run on one hit, and Westwood goes up by a score of four to three. We head to the top of the third inning. Top of the lineup due up for the Mavericks. We'll be right back.
All right, leading off for the Mavericks, back to the top of the order, Ramsey Simpson walked and scored a run back in the first inning. Sorry for the uh, video jitters there, folks, trying to move our camera here to a better position to minimize some of the traffic in the bleachers here from the fans. Hopefully we've got a better angle here. First pitch of Simpson swung on, lined in left into center field. Center fielder is back. He turns his hips twice and makes, makes the grab on the run for the first out. Good hard hit ball by Simpson there. Just Westwood center fielder managed to track it down. That'll bring up the second baseman, Jack Goins. Was safe on an error by the uh, third baseman last time. And he swings the first pitch slider, misses strike one. Goins looks at the next pitch. Breaking ball with some late break in there, called strike two on the inside corner. Next pitch fastball misses high. Be two and one the count to Goins. Next pitch swung on and missed. Catch, but the ball gets away from the catcher, so it's going to be a drop third strike. Goins is safe at first, but he's going to try to get all the way. Wow, he's safe. Slides under the tag at second base as he advanced on a drop third strike all the way to second base. Ball took a kind of a crazy kick back to the screen. Catcher couldn't find it. And Goings with some good speed manages to just run all the way from first hard 90 and then another hard 90 to second. So runner at second now with one out brings up number three hitter Vosick. And he looks at a breaking ball that's in there for called strike one. The ball gets away from the catcher there, but Goins does not advance from second. Vasek with a single in the first base on uh, the first inning scored a run. Another breaking ball swung on miss strike two. Comes the 0-2 pitch to Vasek. Pitch is down in the dirt, kept in front by the uh, Westwood catcher, Brinson. Let's go, nine. Cut the swing down, protect, let's go. Come on, Rhino. Comes the 1-2 pitch. Fastball misses outside and high, so it'll be two balls and two strikes now to Vasek. First baseman Jackson Collins stands on deck. Two-two slider with some late break catches the inside corner for called strike three. So with two away, and uh, going still standing on second, that brings up the first base from Jackson Collins. Grounded out to shortstop in his first at bat, but had an RBI. He scored one of the Mavs runs in that three-run first inning. And Collins looks at that same slider, first pitch slider there in there. Late break, called strike one. Second pitch, fastball fouled back into the overarching net. So it'll be 0-2 to Collins.
0-2 pitch, fastball misses outside. Collins steps out, back into the box, ready to go. See the 1-2 pitch from the pitcher Morgan. Well, Slider, this one didn't quite break as much as some of the other ones there. It misses inside, almost hit him. So it'll be two balls and two strikes. Two-two pitch, check the swing. Parr says he did not go. Ball was dropped as well. Westwood catcher looking for a drop third strike there and tagged him, but uh, umpire says he checked a swing. So, counts full. Two outs, Goins runner on second. And we'll see if he takes off here on this pitch. Does not. Pitch is in there, swung on, lofted. Shallow right field in foul territory, and in a second baseman makes the catch in foul territory for the third out of the inning. So uh, Mavs leave a runner stranded on second base. No runs, no hits. Heading to the bottom of the third inning. Westwood Warriors four, Mavericks three. We'll be right back. All right, five, six, seven hitters do up for the Warriors here in the bottom of the third. Catcher Jack Brinson will lead off. He had the three-run home run back in the first inning. As he looks at a good breaking ball with some late break, catches the outside corner for called strike one. Pitch fastball misses a little low. Oh, looks at another good breaking ball. Curveball in there. It's a big drop. Catches the outside corner called strike two. Next pitch fastball just misses a little bit outside. Morgan dialed up the heat on that one. So two balls and two strikes to count now to Brinson. Next pitch swung on, grounded to shortstop, fielded by Vosick. A couple steps, throws the first in time. And Brinson grounds out for the first out of the inning. That'll bring up the left-handed hitting designated hitter, Jackson Gula. Safe on one of the errors back in the first inning.
First pitch breaking ball misses a little high and out. Ball one. Warrior comes back with a fastball, misses outside and low. It's going to be a 2 0 count. Throw a pitch, fastball's in there, called strike one. Next pitch, another fastball, swung on, fouled back into the screen. Memorial works back to a two ball, two strike count now. One out, nobody on. Temperature dropped down to 46 degrees. Feels like 43 with 58% humidity. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Gula looks at that last pitch breaking ball that missed somewhere, not, not entirely sure where. Count goes to full now to three and two. And next pitch swung on, just got a piece of it and fouled it back into the screen. Stay alive. Three two pitch. Breaking ball swung on, just got a piece of it again and fouled it back. The three two pitch. Swung on a miss, strike three. Fourth strikeout for Morio. And two away. Brings up the right fielder, Wendland. Wendland uh, grounded out to third to end the inning back in the first. And oh. Curveball. Some late break just misses outside ball one. Okay. Wendland tried to check his swing on that last high fastball, but went around. So count as one ball, one strike. Next pitch, a little change up, miss, maybe a little bit low inside. Two one the count to Wendland. Breaking ball swung on. Soft ground ball. The shortstop. Vasek charging. Throws over to first, but the throw is offline and gets away from the first baseman. Wendland going to second, and he's going to hold up. Tough play for Vasek Bears. He was playing deep, and there was a very weakly hit ball to short, but on the overthrow, that extends the inning here with two outs, and Wendland is runner at second. And that brings up the third baseman, Wood. Singled back in the second inning. Swings, little soft ground ball to Morio. Pitcher's mound, throws it over to first, and that will end the inning with no damage. So Morio takes it himself to end the inning. No runs, no hits. One base runner does not come around. Head to the top of the fourth inning. Score still Warriors 4, Mavericks 3. We'll be right back.
All right, five, six, seven hitters due up for the Mavericks here in the top of the fourth inning. Still chasing one run, down four to three. Leadoff hitter is center fielder Chris Winnesman. Grounded out to the pitcher back in the uh, first inning for his first at bat. Swings the next first pitch. Ground ball in the hole between first and second base. Pulls the first baseman off. Second base grabs it and flips it over to Ridge Morgan, the pitcher covering first for the first out of the inning. They'll bring up the catcher, Garrett Banks. Banks was out on a drop third strike to end the inning back in the first. Swings to the first pitch, hard ground ball, hit right to the shortstop, throws over to first base in time, and that will retire Banks for the second out of the inning. Mavs with uh, three runs, but only one hit so far. And with two away here in the top of the fourth, that brings up the designated hitter, Caleb Crail. Crail with a good, hard piece of contact, but flew out to right field in his first at bat. Let's see, looks like a first pitch breaking ball in there, called strike on the inside corner. Swung on, grounded, bounding ball to second base, throws over to first in time, and it is three ground balls and three outs as the Mavs go one, two, three. Here in the top of the fourth. Takes us to the bottom of the fourth inning. Number nine hitter, and then back to the top of the order for the Warriors when we come back. Score still 4-3 Westwood. We'll be back in a minute. All right, we've got a pitching change for the Mavericks here. The center fielder, Chris Winnesman, has come in in relief for the starting pitcher, Brandon Morio. I think uh, the pitcher Morio has gone out to left field. Left fielder Ramsey Simpson is now in center in Winnesman's spot. And Winnesman will face the number nine hitter, Dunn, as his first batter as he... As Dunn looks at a fastball, misses outside, ball one. Three innings pitch for Morio. Three hits, four runs, only one of them earned. Two walks and four strikeouts. As Winnesman delivers, ball two.
2 -0 fastball missed maybe a little bit low. So it'll be three balls and no strikes. The left fielder done. Squares around to bunt. Pulls back and first and the pitch is in there for get me over strike one. Wind has been working all the way back. Gets the call on the outside corner on that fastball. Strike two, so full count. It's a 3 2 pitch. Fastball misses down low, ball four. So leadoff walk for Dunn brings us back to the top of the Warriors order. Brings up center fielder Moore. 0 for 2 today so far. Grounded out to uh, first base and uh, was safe on an error last inning. Uh, first pitch to Moore. Fastball misses a little low and inside. Ball one. It takes a long stare at the runner at first. Delivers a good. So it was a change up there. Swung on and missed. Strike one. This one comes in a little too far inside on that last pitch. It'll be two balls and one strike to count to more. It was a 2-1 pitch. Fastball misses high and outside. Count will go to 3-1. and one. There's another quick throw over to first. Check the runner done. He's back in time. Next pitch in the dirt, ball four. Gets away from uh, the catcher Banks, but not far enough for Dunn to advance past second base. So back-to-back -back walks here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Brings up the number two hitter, Colton Clements. Struck out in his last at bat. He squares around to bunt, tries to lay it down, but fouls it back. First baseman Collins playing up on the grass, started charging on that. Warriors have caused some chaos back in, uh, back in the previous innings there with some bunts. Squares around again, offers out the pitch, which was outside and low. And he did go around, so it'll be 0 and 2 to count. Takes a long look. Squares around to bunt, lays a nice bunt down the third base line, and it's going to be everybody safe. So Clemens bunting with 0-2, manages to lay it down, and it's safe all around. So the bunts continue to kind of stymie the Mavericks defense here. 
And that will load the bases. Nobody out. Brings up the shortstop, Matt Gula. 0 for 2 today, safe on an error, and struck out in the last inning. Sorry, that was back in the second inning, the strikeout. Infield on the grass. First pitch to Gula down in the dirt, kept in front by the catcher, Banks. One zero pitch. Fastball misses high and outside. Ball two. Two zero pitch. This is a little bit low, so it'll be three balls, no strikes. Nowhere to put them. We'll see if the hitter Gula has a green light here on 3 0. And he does not. He looks at called strike one on the outside corner. Three balls, one strike. Count to Gula. And next pitch misses inside for ball four. So that will bring Dunn in from third. Everybody moves up one. The score goes to 5-3 now in favor of the Warriors. And we're going to have timeout, and that's going to bring in a visit from the uh, Mavericks head coach, Coach Aguirre. Home plate umpire is going to head out and uh, try to break up the conversation here on the mound. So Coach Geary heads back to the Mavericks dugout. Ridge Morgan, pitcher, comes to the plate. Morgan with a walk, run scored, and uh, flew out to left field in his last at bat. Base is still loaded, nobody out. And first pitch to Morgan, his fastball in there, called strike one. Oh, one pitch to Morgan. Breaking ball, gets away from the catcher, Banks, but not enough for anyone to advance. Looks like a piece of his uh, chest protector fell off in the process. Pitch was called a ball. And then Banks reattaches a piece of his shoulder pad there on the chest protector. So one on one, the count to Morgan. Next pitch, fastball a little bit low. Count goes to two and one. Two one pitch misses high and outside, so it'll be three balls and one strike. And now to Morgan. Yeah. 
And 3-1 pitch misses outside again. So it'll be ball four, and another run will be walked in. So Moore will come across, making the score 6-3. to three. And that will bring up the catcher, Brinson. One for two today with a three-run home run back in the first inning, then grounded out to shortstop. I guess it looks at a fastball that misses low, ball one. Pitch misses high and outside. Ball two. Deep breath. Come on, Chris. Two balls, no strikes. The count to the hitter, Brinson. And the next pitch, Winsman comes inside but misses inside low, so it'll be another 3 0 count. Pitches in there for called strike one. Three one pitch to Brinson, swung on ground ball to third, gets underneath the glove of the third baseman Newman. He's Vosick, shortstop was backing up, throws over, but not in time. Good effort by the shortstop Vosick there to try to salvage the play, but unfortunately not enough to get the runner out at first. So another run comes across. Makes the score 7-3. to three. And that brings up a designated hitter, Gula. And he swings at the first pitch and fouls it back into the net. Looks like that last play was going to be scored a single. And we're going to have a courtesy runner for the pitcher, Morgan. Let's see who is that, number eight. So number eight, Mark Downey goes in. To, oh, we're going to have a courtesy runner for our catcher, Brinson, at first, too. Number nine, Cooper Williamson goes in. Pitch to Gula, a little ground ball, softly hit the shortstop, fielded by Vosick, throws over to first and gets the out. So Gula grounds out, but it's an RBI as the runner from third scores. And the other runners advance up one base. So runners on second and third now, one out. Brings up the right fielder, Wendland. And Wendland looks at a first pitch fastball, misses Lone inside. Next pitch swung on, line down the right field side. It's going to get into foul territory and down. So it'll be a long strike.
Next pitch kind of swung on, partially swung on there. Umpire says he went around, so strike two. One ball, two strikes. The count to Wendland. Next pitch, breaking ball, misses just a little bit low. So it'll kind of go to two and two. Two-two pitch swung on, grounded right back to the pitcher. Windesman throws to home, and it'll be tagged out. No force in effect as there was only runners on second and third. So Banks applies the tag, gets the runner out at home, prevents the run. Be a fielder's choice for Wenlin. And it'll be runners on first and third now with two outs. And it looks like we've got a pinch hitter. Okay, number 17, Reed Saxon comes in to hit in place of the number eight hitter, Wood. And he swings at the first pitch and fouls it out. And this one actually escaped the big old net. It goes into the backyard of one of the residents who happened to live right <laughs> Oh, might have gone in the pool. There we go. Lucky ball gets a splash. So 0 and 1 to the pinch hitter Saxon. Runner goes from first. It's a quick throw back to the pitcher. Nothing doing there, but the pitches are called strikes. So Saxon's now in the hole. 0-2 with a stolen base for Wendland. O2 pitch. Just misses a little bit inside. Comes the one two delivery from Windeson. Swung on, miss, strike three. First strike out the for Winnesman, and that will end the inning. But the Warriors tack on four more runs, making the score now eight to three. Mavericks coming up to bat here in the top of the fifth inning, chasing five runs. We'll be right back. All right, 8-9, and then back to the top of the order here for the Mavs. Top of the fifth inning. Leading off, right fielder James Morio. Rounded out to second base in his only at-bat so far today. He swings the first pitch and fouls it back to the screen. Got an updated score from around the district here. This one's a little bit of a surprise, folks. Looks like Vandegrift has beat Round Rock by a score of 2-0. to zero.
So it could be a could be an opening district play night of surprises here. 0-1 pitch to Morio, swung on and popped foul out of play. This one also escapes the big old screen and goes off of the uh, off of one of the bleachers. So count will be 0-2 to the leadoff hitter Morio. He'll be followed by the starting pitcher and now left fielder Brandon Morio, and then back to the top with Ramsey Simpson as he looks at a breaking ball that misses outside. Swings the next pitch, drives it into the gap in this left center field, but the center fielder comes over, just kind of hung up a little too long there, and is able to make the play. Good hard piece of contact there, just hung up a little bit too high. So one away for the Mavs here in the top of the fifth, brings up Brandon Morio. Morio flew out to right field in his first at bat. As he looks at a first pitch, fastball misses outside, low ball one. one oh fastball called strike right over the middle of the plate. One one pitch swung on, goes right up the middle. Oh, goes through two gloves. Goes, goes through the glove of the pitcher and then through the glove of the shortstop and into center field. I suspect they'll call that one a single. So Brandon Morio's aboard with a one-out single. Back to the top for the Mavericks. Looks up Ramsey Simpson. Has a walk and flew out to center field so far today. So he wanted to go after that slider there, but held off at the last second there, but it's called strike anyway. Oh, looks like our McNeil scorekeeper scored that an error. Morio, that last ground ball that Morio hit there scored an error. I don't know. I think if we did the rule of three on that one, I don't know how, I don't know how we'd get that, that ruling there. As pitcher Morgan throws over to first to check the runner Morio, he's back in time. Comes the 0 1 pitch to Simpson. Misses, gets away from the catcher. That will allow Morio to advance easily to second base on the pass ball. Getting an official ruling from the grandfather of Morio that that was definitely a hit. We'll see if we can amend the scorebooks. <laughs> Ground ball hit sharply to first base. Ramsey with some speed. And they're going to call him out as uh, the first baseman Sachs had flipped it at the last second to the pitcher of Morgan who was covering. So Simpson will be out on the ground ball. It'll be two outs. Morio advances the third on the infield ground ball. And with two away, that brings up the number two hitter, Jack Goins. Reached second on a drop third strike in his last at bat. As he looks at called strike one. He's pitch swung on ground ball, deep shortstop, knocked down by the shortstop, but Goins has good speed and he's going to be safe. Throw gets away, but catcher is backing it up. Oh, and they're going to say that he turned. 
And I'm trying to get back to the bag. He was tagged out. Oh, I'm not sure about that call. And neither is Coach Aguirre. He's going to try to get his money's worth over here. As it stands, though, that will end the inning. That did allow Morio to score from third, though. So the Mavs will tack on one more run, make the score 8-4. to four. And it looks like the ruling is going to stand on the field of an out, we think. The on-deck hitter Vasek is uh, trying to convince the umpire otherwise, but it seems unsuccessful. I don't blame you, Ryan. Yep, so that'll do it for the Mavs. One run. Mavs shorten the gap to uh, four runs now. Westwood leading eight to four as we head to the bottom of the fifth inning. We'll be right back. All right, leading off for the Warriors here in the bottom of the fifth inning, left fielder Evan Dunn. Reached base safely twice in both of his uh, appearances today, two walks. And we'll be back to the top of the order after Dunn. First pitch to Dunn, misses a little bit outside, ball one. The fastball misses outside. Count goes to two and zero. Oh. Next pitch is in there for called strike. Comes a two-one pitch. Fastball misses inside and low, so it'll be three balls, one strike to Dunn. Three one pitch, fastball, a lot of arm side run catches the outside corner. This will be a full count. And next pitch misses outside, ball four. So leadoff walk for Dunn. Third walk of the game for him. Brings us back to the top of the order, leadoff hitter Caleb Moore. Another score from around the district here in the bottom of seventh. Cedar Ridge is leading uh, Hutto by a score of four to one.
as Windesman takes a long look at the runner on first. Delivers the first pitch. Fastball misses inside and low ball one. Windsman throws over to check the runner done at first. He's back in time. Next pitch is swung out and missed for strike one. One ball, one strike to Moore. Next pitch, good late slider. Catches the outside corner, called strike two. Corner goes, pitch is swung on and missed. Strike three. And it looks like uh, Kedra Banks may have bobbled that ball a little bit there, unable to throw down. It'll be a stolen base for Dunn. And a strikeout for Moore, the first out of the inning. Second strikeout for Windesman this game. Mavs head coach, Coach Aguirre, comes out and asks for clarification of some kind from the home plate umpire there. Got his answer and heads back. Brings up the number two hitter, Cole uh, Clements. Singled his last at bat. And he is hit in the back foot by the first pitch he sees, so he will head down with a hit by pitch. So Rose on first and second now brings up the number three hitter, Matthew Gula. Gula has scored twice this game, struck out, safe on an error, and then had a walk in the fourth inning. First baseman Collins playing up right on the edge of the grass. First pitch to Gula is pretty far outside for ball one. Oh, next pitch just misses somewhere. Ball two. I'm being reminded by one of our viewers here that uh, Yes, another score from around the district. Vandegrift beats Round Rock 2 0. As we look at a 2 0 pitch, the Gula swung on, fouled back into the screen. Two balls, one strike to the hitter Gula. Runner goes from second. Pitches a ball outside, and uh, Dunn is going to reach third uncontested. That'll make it runners on first and third now with one out. And the count three and one to the hitter Gula. Just look, we're at about 45 degrees here in Austin. Actually, looking forward to the uh, Leander ISD tournament games that the Mavs will be playing. Thursday should be nice, high temperature of 76 degrees, and on Friday we've got a 39 with the possibility of sleet. So that's Austin for you. Welcome to spring break. And here comes
comes the 3 1 pitch to Gula. Swung on and fouled back into the screen. Three two pitch swung on, lofted into shallow center field, just gets over the glove of the second baseman Goins. That'll be down for a base hit, and one run will score. And the runner on first. Clements gets around to third. So an RBI single for Gula. Makes the score nine to four. And with one out, runners on first and third, brings up the pitcher, Ridge Morgan. Two walks today and flew out to left field. First pitch. Swung on line in the center or left field. Gets away from uh, or just out of the reach of the shortstop Vasek. And on the throw to third. Newman was looking for a uh, successful tag out there. Runner is safe. And on that throw, Morgan goes to second base. So that brings around the runner, Clements. Makes the score 10 to 4, Westwood. Gula advances to third. Morgan stands on second base now. And that brings up the catcher, Jack Brinson. Had a single and a home run today. Swings to the first pitch. Sky high pop up. Right to the left hand side of the pitcher's mound. Shortstop Vasek <laughs> makes an acrobatic grab as he kind of overran it a little bit there. But nonetheless, makes a good grab for the second out of the inning. That just looks like a very dramatic pop out to the shortstop for the second out. It looks like we're going to have a pinch hitter in the place of the designated hitter Jackson Gula will be number eight. Mark Downey. Downey was a pinch runner earlier, or courtesy runner earlier. Now hitting in the number six spot in place of the DH Kula. Got runners on second and third, two outs. And the first pitch to Downey. Fastball misses a little low. Ball one. One oh pitch swung on and missed. Strike one. One one breaking ball. Tried to check a swing, but unable to hold up. Home plate umpire calls it strike two. So one ball, two strikes to the hitter Downey. Pitcher Morgan stands on second. And uh, shortstop Gula runner on third. And the one-two pitch. Swung on and missed, but it sounds like there was catcher's interference. So Downey will head down to first base on catcher's interference. That loads the bases with two outs. Brings up the right fielder, Gus Wendland. 
0 for 3 today. Grounded out, safe on an error, and uh, was safe on a fielder's choice last inning. And there's a courtesy runner that's gone into second base for the pitcher Morgan. Can't quite see who it is. Need some binoculars to read these numbers. First pitch to Wendland, bounces in the dirt, ball one. One zero pitch is a fastball, misses outside and high. So it'll be two and zero. The count to Wendland. Wendland works inside, catches the inside corner, makes the count two and one. Wendland working on pitch number sixty six of his outing. Came in back in the fourth inning in relief for the starting pitcher Brandon Morio. Two one pitch. Ball kicks away from the catcher, goes all the way back to screen. Catcher Banks couldn't find it. And that will allow the runners to move up one base. And Agula to score easily from third, making the score eleven to four. So runners on second and third now. Two outs and a 3-1 count to the hitter, Wendland. Three-one pitch, swung on, ground ball, sharply hit to shortstop, fielded by Vasek, throws over to first, and that will end the inning. Job, so that ends the inning. Warriors send eight batters to the plate, tack on three more runs. Mavs coming up to bat here in the top of the sixth inning. Score Westwood 11, McNeil 4. We'll be right back. All right, three, four, five hitters do up for the Mavericks here in the top of the sixth. Leading off will be the shortstop, Ryan Vosick. One for two today with a single back in the first. Also one of the runs scored for the Mavs this, this evening. Looks at a first pitch. Slider with some late break comes back in, catches the inside corner, called strike one. Big swing and a miss, the next pitch there. Count goes to 0-2. Oh, 2 pitch swung on, lofted over the glove of the second baseman into right field for a single. Lead-off single for Vasek off an 0-2 count. That'll bring up turn, number four hitter Jackson Collins. Collins over two today, but ground out and popped out. <laughs> Collins.
calls it a first pitch breaking ball in the dirt, gets away from the catcher, and throw down gets away from the shortstop, but not deep enough. So Vasek will take second base on the pass ball. And the Mavs have a runner in scoring position here with nobody out in the top of the sixth. One-0 pitch to Collins on the breaking ball in there for called strike. One ball, one strike to Collins. Holds off on another breaking ball that catches the outside corner there, called strike two. One-two pitch to Collins. Fastball misses just a little bit outside. Count will go to two and two. Two two pitch to Collins bounces in the dirt and it's gonna allow Vasek to move and advance up to third. And the count will go full to Collins. It was a three two pitch. Swung on. Line drive hit just a couple of steps to the left of the, uh, or to the right of the shortstop and brings it in for the first out of the inning. Good hard hit by Collins there, just need to get it up a little bit higher. That brings up Chris Windesman. He swings the first pitch, launches a sky-high fly ball into right field. Right fielder is underneath it, and he makes the grab. Vostick's going to tag from third base, and he will be in easily. So a sacrifice fly for Windesman. And I think they're going to try to appeal to third, saying that the runner Vostick left early. Umpire says he did not. And so on that sacrifice fly by Windesman that uh, makes the score 11 to 5 Westwood now. Two away brings up the catcher Garrett Banks. So the first pitch fastball misses low. Pitcher Morgan working on pitch number 69 of his outing. Which is a fastball that catches the outside corner. Strike one. One one pitch to Banks. Slider that's in there, and even though the catcher drops it, it's called strike. He heads out to talk to his pitcher. And umpire summons the catcher back to home. Go G. Nobody on, two outs. And we got a one two count to the hitter, Banks. One two pitch swung on and missed strike three. So 
So Mavs tack on one more. And we head to the bottom of the sixth inning. Score Westwood 11, McNeil 5. We'll be right back. All right, we've got a pitching change for the Mavericks. Number 15, James Morio comes in in relief for uh, Chris Windesman. And he will face eight, nine, and one hitters. Looks like uh, number one, Wood, has gone back in to hit back in his original spot. He was previously uh, pinch hit for by Saxon. And he is coming back in to hit again. So he'll be the first hitter that James Oreo faces. Twin brother Brandon uh, started the game for the Mavericks. Looks like a first pitch. Fastball misses a little low and inside. Ball one. Swings a nice pitch. Fastball misses. Swung on a miss. Strike one. Pitch change up with some good movement there. Called strike two. So Morio comes in working ahead with a one two count to the leadoff hitter, Wood. Next pitch fastball misses a little high, ball two. Next pitch swung on and missed strike three. So one away, first strikeout for James Morio this game. That brings up number nine hitter Evan Dunn has reached in all three of his bat his at bats today by virtue of walk. And he swings and misses at a first pitch. Might have had a change up there, strike one. Oh, one fastball misses a little high and out. Count goes to one and one. Next pitch, good breaking ball in there. Called strike two.
One and two the count to the hitter done. Next pitch fastball leaves it up high. Comes a 2-2 pitch. The fastball misses a little high and inside, so kind of go full. Three-two pitch, swung on and missed, strike three. So Morio strikes out the first two batters he faces. Brings us back to the top of the Warriors order. Leadoff hitter Caleb Moore, who struck out in his last at bat in the fifth inning. First pitch breaking ball misses a little bit inside low. One oh pitch called strike. Morio likes to work with tempo, likes to get his sign, likes to get in, likes to deliver. One one the count. Next pitch, good breaking ball, swung on and missed, strike two. One, two pitch, swung on and missed, strike three. So Morio comes in and strikes out the side. Coming to the top of the seventh inning, last chance for the Mavs. Chasing six runs. Westwood leading by a score of 11 to 5. We'll be right back for the top of the seventh. All right, coming in to try to close out for the Warriors. Number 23, Jared Hyman, comes in to pitch, left-hander. He will face 7, 8, 9. Hitters for the Mavericks here leading off will be Caleb Crail, designated hitter. Crail looks at a first pitch fastball, misses outside high for ball one.
Next pitch comes inside, nearly hits him on the feet. This will be 2 0 count to Crail. Crail will be followed by the current relief pitcher for the Mavericks, James Morio, and then uh, <coughs> the left fielder, Brandon Morio. And after two pitches, we're going to have a mound visit from the Westwood Warriors head coach. The visit is over. Westwood head coach heads back. And it is now so cold out here I can actually see my breath. <laughs> uh, we are ready to go. And after a long communication of signs, I'm in readiness with 2-0 delivery. Just a fastball in there for a called strike. Two one pitch misses just a little bit low. Count will go to three and one. Crail swings and misses at the 3-1 pitch. So the count will go full. Here comes a 3-2 pitch to Crail. Looks at called strike three on the inside corner. Thought that was ball four, but umpire called a strike. So one away. up James Morio. Looks like we have a final score on the Hutto Cedar Ridge game. Cedar Ridge over Hutto by a score of four to one. Morris Morio looks at ball one. Pitch gets a foul tip there and knocks it off the catcher's chest protector. So it'll be one ball and one strike. Oh. Next pitch called strike, much to the chagrin of the uh, Mavericks fans. So it'll be one ball and two strikes to Morio. And umpire calls time. Some kind of a equipment malfunction on the the Westwood catcher. Looks like he's back and ready to go. Comes a 1 2 pitch to Morio. Swung on a miss, strike three. So Mavs down to their last out. Two outs brings up the left fielder, Brandon Morio. Flew out and was uh, safe on either a single ground ball up the middle or an error, depending on how you look at it. And he swings to the first pitch and fouls it back into the screen. Strike one.
A one pitch, looks at a curveball, comes across for strike two. So 0 and 2 to the hitter Brandon Morio. Next pitch swung on, grounded foul down the first base side. So Morio fouls one off, stays alive. Looks like he got that one right on the end of the bat into this cold weather. Probably feeling a little bit of lightning in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> o2 pitch came in real real sharp and tight on the hands there but Mora manages to foul it into the uh, Westwood dugout So Morio still battling here with 0-2. And next pitch, breaking ball bounces. So it'll be 1-2. and two. Comes the one-two pitch to Morio. Swung on, fouled back in the screen. One-two pitch, misses high and outside. Count goes to two and two. Pitch swung on, grounded foul down the third baseline. So this will be the eighth pitch of the at bat for Morio. And Field thought that was strike three. Umpire says otherwise, so Morio works his way all the way back to a 3-2 count from 0-2. And the 3-2 pitch, miss, breaking ball misses outside for ball four. Good 10 pitch at bat <coughs> for Morio there with two outs, and he's aboard with the walk. And the Mavs extend the game. Keep him rolling with two outs here. Back to the top of the order. Ramsey Simpson stands in. Simpson looks at a curveball that drops in for a called strike. Next pitch, fastball misses high, ball one. Got another final score from district play here. Looks like Vista Ridge has defeated Stony Point by a score of 13 to 1. And here comes the 1 1 delivery to Simpson. Called strike two on the outside corner. One ball, two strikes to Simpson. Two outs. Morio, the, Brandon Morio, the runner on first. And 
Simpson looks at a ball that misses high and inside. So it'll be two balls and two strikes. Next pitch fastball misses outside, ball three. So all the way back to a full count again. Three two pitch swung on, lofted in the air down to right field. That's going to get down for a single, possibly more. As the runner falls down, throw in is going to be offline, and that allows Morio to advance from first to third. And on the throw, Simpson goes to second as well. So the Mavs keep hope alive with two outs here in the top of the seventh inning, trailing by six runs. Now with runners on first and th or uh, second and third, and the number two hitter Jack Going steps in. He's reached base all three times today on an error, drop third strike where he got to second base, and then a single as he looks at a ball high start. Had that single last inning where he reached first base, but then they said he made his turn back into fair territory and first baseman tagged him with the ball and he was called out. As he swings at a fastball, a little bit up in the zone and misses strike one. One one pitch swung on, fouled softly over towards the Mavericks dugout, not a play. One ball, two strikes to count to the hitter goings. Next pitch, late breaking slider, missed just a little bit outside and low, so it'll be two and two. Comes a two two pitch. Swung on, lined into right field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Morgan was going to score easily from third, and Simpson's going to hold up at third. But a two-out walk followed by back-to-back -back singles. And the Mavs are still keeping hope alive here in the top of the sixth. Or top of the seventh, sorry. RBI single makes the score 11 to 6. Get mad at the ball nine. Let's go. And that brings up number three hit Ryan Vosick. Vosick singled in his last at uh, lasted bat and scored a run as he looks a looks at a breaking ball catches the inside corner for called strike and pitcher Hyman throws over to first base to check the runner going he's back safely The 0-1 pitch to Vasek. Breaking ball misses a little bit low and outside. So it'll be one and one. Simpson the runner on third. Goins the runner at first, both with good speed. As Hyman throws over to check the runner at first again. Go, 
1-1 pitch, fastball misses high. So count will be two balls and one strike to Vasek. It was a 2-1 pitch. Breaking ball. Caught the outside corner leg. Called strike two. Two-two pitch swung on and missed. Strike three. And that will end the game. So Maz made a good run in the top of the seventh inning there, but can't quite overcome the deficit there. Final score, Westwood 11, McNeil 6. Thanks for joining us today, folks. Tune in next time as the Mavs head to the uh, Leander ISD tournament, which games will be played at Cedar Park High School. Next game will be Thursday, March 10th at uh, 1230 against the Elgin Wildcats. Thanks again for joining us, folks. Have a good evening.